Sorry about that interruption. Jing actually only allows five minutes of video, so I just upgraded. Okay, so exports.admin, mongoose admin, admin schema in the admin collection. What this is saying, load a model called admin using this schema and in the Mongo collection of admin. So this is the coffee file. To compile to JavaScript models, we can use the coffee compile admin model command and that creates the JavaScript file as seen here. What coffee does is it encapsulates things into scope so all these variables only live in this scope. So now we've created our model. Let's load some data in it. So I'm going to create a new folder called one time. And this will be a collection of one time scripts that we use. So I want to put data into the admin model so we can show about us information. So load admins. First thing I have to do is load mongoose again, require mongoose. We have to load the admin model. Go up one directory, down to models, down to admin model. Create a function, populate admins. All this is just CoffeeScript notation. Don't worry about that. You'll have the compiled JavaScript to see. So what this will do is it'll create a data object with my information. So let me just copy this. So first name is Shamoon. Last name. Email. My Twitter handle is Shamoon's. And my Facebook handles is also Shamoon's. So create this raw data. From that, we're going to create a Shamoon admin object, which is basically a new admin with Shamoon data. So if you want to see what this looks like in JavaScript, basically that's it. In CoffeeScript, we don't really put parentheses. It just creates shorter code, but the converted JavaScript does have parentheses. I apologize for using CoffeeScript. It's just a lot faster to write for me. And then Shamoon admin dot save. With the two parameters, error and item. So... What we're going to do here is if there's an error, then console.log error, or else just spit out the item that we just saved. Pretty simple, pretty cool. So let's go to one time coffee minus C because we have to compile the coffee into JavaScript. And here's what that looks like here. So CoffeeScript, when it creates JavaScript, it puts all the variables together, declares them explicitly. We have our variables, we've loaded Mongoose, we've loaded our admin model. We have the populate admins function, which basically just takes this data, puts it in the Shamoon data object. You'll notice that this, uh, these variables are scoped only within this function. And then it just does a call on all this. So let's run that. Node load admins. Well, before we do that, let's go to Mongo. So this is Mongo Hub. It's a graphical user interface for Mongo on the Mac. It will show you your different databases. In my sole tier database, I have just the indexes collection. When I run this, however, oh, we have an error. What's the error? admin model js object is not a function 